Welcome to Chewing the Curd with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said DNA match, no DNA match, I don't care, I know who I say I am. Oh, welcome to this week's Easter special Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Just some special things about celebrities and... It... Oh, I'm doing that. Easter. <laughs> How do celebrities spend their Easter? Is that Eastery? I don't know. Eastery? Sprinkling Easter goodness. Well, sprinkling something. Well, on screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media where you can follow us, the Could.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And there's the names of people who have commented on any of our social media posts. Scroll along the bottom of the screen. It's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Are you a fan of a cream egg? Um, do you know what? Not massively. Not massively? So if I, if I reached into my little treasure trove here and passed you a lovely cream egg... Dropped my own one. Dropped that one. Yeah. <laughs> cream eggs, to me, uh -huh. are the, the strawberry creams of the... Um, <laughs> Easter confectionaries. Of the... <laughs> no, of the, of the, you know, the, 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 the cold quality street. Is that the one I'm trying to, to grasp? I, like when there's, everything else is gone, uh -huh. if there is a cream egg left, they're a bit sickly. So you're saying no to that? Yeah, uh, uh, it's not, know. yeah. Fondant. Forcing you to eat it. Anyway, this is a story about a man who's created a giant cream egg. Up his bum. <laughs> Up his bum. No. Just by great well, he's taken thirty-two normal sized cream eggs. Yes. Scooped out the innards and put them into a normal sized Easter egg. Okay. So there's thirty-two lovely fondanty things inside a big Easter egg. I don't like it. You don't like it at all? I don't, the fondant is really sickly. It's because they're nothing but sugar. And if he's like scooped out, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then there won't be like an, an egg, a yoki centre, will there? There'll be multiple yoki centres. Multiple oh. yoki centres. I know how excited people get for a double yoker. There it is. It looks a bit like someone's spaffed on an egg. I'm sorry. It, yeah, it does. <laughs> and yeah. That's definitely a, 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 a fail. Well, I suppose you can see your in it. Could, oh, sticky, sticky. Sticky. Yeah, no one wants a sticky. No. no, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, <laughs> is he going to, you know, but look at his face, like he's done something, he's like he's cured something, he's, he's like 41. he's found a, he's, he's what? 41, from Glasgow. And that's how he spends his time, he didn't even deep fry it in some, <laughs> that sounds fit, I'm sorry, <laughs> deep fried cream egg sounds delicious. Uh... Yeah. Well, well done him. Well done him. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Well done. So yeah, going, for, going from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. To Hong Kong. Okay. You have a pet. I do have a pet. And when you go away, what happens with the pet? Somebody looks after it. Okay. It, we're not, we're not using its name. Her. Somebody uh, looks after her. Yeah. Um, well, what happens if you wanted to go away and there was no one to look after? What would you do? Well, I would go somewhere where they allowed pets. Okay. It's not rocket science. It's not right. It's pet care. Um, well, this is a story about in Hong Kong. They have created a hotel specifically for the rabbits. Gerbil. Oh. It's Easter. It's going to be about rabbits, isn't okay, it? Okay, right. So, yeah, they've got a, a little hotel. Oh, that's cute. Right. They can hold up to 18 rabbits at a time. 18? 18. 18 rabbits. Do they have to be um, neutered? No. No? No, they can. They so, can... they could go away with the 18, and when you come back, there's 47. <laughs> 47,000 for yes. the rabbits go. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's, they've said it's. Climate control to perfection for rabbits. Okay. Yes. I mean, the rabbits had an optimum climate <laughs> optimum. control setting. <laughs> Not on the rabbit. <laughs> on the air conditioning. Yeah, well, yeah no, no, that. Rabbits, I mean, no rabbits require a certain temperature to. to well, be yeah. Healthy. If you if you put them in an oven that's quite hot, they yeah. will die. And or, if you put or a them pot out, of boiling water, yeah. they don't like that. Or you put them in the freezer for a few, few days, they'll die. It's, they hate it. It's, yeah. it's, 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 yeah. it's the right temperature. Yeah, fine balance. Yeah, but I thought that was quite cute. It is quite cute. I yeah. would imagine that because. Did you say it was in Japan? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. It says on screen there. Hong oh, Kong. Yeah, just, rabbits, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they don't really have a lot of space for no. things like dogs. Exactly. So I, I would imagine that a lot of people have house rabbits. Have, have a house mm. rabbit instead of a dog because they require less space. Yes. 
And you can you can drop kick them. And you can eat them when they die. Because <laughs> <laughs> rabbit, nom 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 nom. I did, I had a friend who had a pet rabbit as a house pet. A house rabbit. House rabbit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They felt like there should have been more to that story. <laughs> um, well, t I mean, to be fair, they're not, they don't really, they don't interact much, do they, rabbits? There's not a lot of bad, I mean, they're cute and the fluffy. There's not a lot of banter with you about to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite have a, kind of a bounce with a rab when you, you know, sat there at home. A bounce with a rab. <laughs> with a bum bum. Hums <laughs> with your bum bum. I don't know. <laughs> it's just always a choice. The many choices. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I think if I had a rabbit, I'd put it in a hotel. Just for the, just for just, the treat. Just to get it away from, you know. Just or, to, yeah. Or, or to oh, the hotel. you're going to a hotel this week, can you, rabbit? <laughs> leaving it, leaving your little, little tiny poos around the house. Easter eggs. No, the poos. That's what they are, Easter eggs. No, the no. Easter egg seeds. Easter egg seeds. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if you want to pick up Rabbit Poo and share it with us, why not? It's at the Good TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, roll up your sleeves a little bit. You are? Roll up your sleeves just a little bit. I want you to protect your wrists. There we go. Okay. So, you didn't want the cream egg. Mm -hmm. Actual eggs. What are you going to do? Next? Okay. Now. Okay. Now what I want you to do, I don't need to remove my ring for this. Okay, I'm going to crack the egg and need to separate out the white and the yolk and just keep the yolk in your hand. Mm. Okay. Mm. No, you go first. I'm going, to, okay, I'm going to do it first, but I want you to do it as well. Oh, okay. Right. It's not like, a, like a live chicken or something, I think. No, it's not going to have a live chicken. It just needs to separate it out, okay? And keep your hand over your bowl, obviously. Cause... The hard boiled egg, Mike. It's not a hard boiled egg, Lee. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Are you right handed or left handed? Right handed. Okay. You could have just used one hand, but. Sorry, I was just getting rid of the whites, you... Mike. It's what you asked me to do. <laughs> it was, but I managed to do it without swapping it about hands. It's like a tissue for that hand. Don't flick your white at me. The albumen. <laughs> albumen. Okay, now what I want you to do gently with your thumb. Roll your thumb around the top of it without bursting it. What a horrible, weird <laughs> sensation. <laughs> do it. Is this a weird sex thing? It's not. It's just. It's not a weird sex thing. Just a th so you just don't want to make sure you don't burst it. Just gently. Gently. Don't burst it. I'm not doing. Okay. And I'll give it a little bit more pressure so you're making a bit of an indent. There you go. Okay. Okay. And I just keep going until you gently break it. Okay. And gently just so it doesn't. You don't want it to pop, you want it to oozy break. There we go. Like that. Make sure make it keep keep going around in a circle. I'm not finding it pleasant. Are you not? Mine won't break. You, you need to give it a bit more pressure then. You need to don't don't use your nail. There we go. Have you done something to it? I've not done anything to it, no. Um but this is called the egg yolk technique, and it's how people learn how to pleasure a woman. Oh, well, that's obviously why I can't do it. <laughs> but it's about the right amount of pressure. I'm. I can't make. I can't do it. So if if that was my if that was <laughs> she my would thumb, with Oriol. What what would, I, say, would it be? What, would it be? What, what you say? If that was my what? If I was. The, <laughs> I was lying there and I was sticking my thumb there. I thought that you said if the... that was my mum. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is would that be the would that be the, the what would that be? That would be the the, um, the labia. Is what you're supposed to. That's how you're supposed to. to I can't to... break. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that what happens to a woman? That that she's just cummed. Oh. Yeah. But that's called the egg yolk technique. And why are they, why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Because it's a so, it's a social media sensation. Let's just um, after you finish, you need to wipe down. <sighs> Don't want. Is it a TikTok thing? It is a TikTok thing. Um, so it's actually and it's actually backed by science. So yeah, um, it's called the bizarre yolk, egg yolk method, but it's actually it's been proven to actually work. Okay, um, so you, that gentle thumbing action, 
right, on a lady's places, would drive her crazy. Why are we doing it, though? Because there are ladies and gentlemen that like to touch ladies and ladies that touch ladies and, the sh and ladies who touch themselves. I can smell beef. <laughs> <laughs> beef eggs. <laughs> they are beef eggs. They're from a cow. I hate beef They're eggs. They're cow eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, the, the ladies that touch ladies and gentlemen that touch yeah. ladies that watch our show are being educational. Yeah. yeah. And now you also know how to pleasure a lady. It's Easter, Mike. And it's an egg. It's a tenuous link, but it's a if... link. Won't be doing that to Jesus, would you? Just saying. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. That was weird. Welcome, but um, stick around because coming up next we have Lee and the Showbiz News. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Easter, what's it about? Is it religious? Is it to do with chocolate? Is it pagan? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. What I do know is about celebrity mm. and how yeah. they choose to spend their Easter. Okay. So first up, so celebrities, they're not, they're not going to have a, a, a normal person Easter. They're not going to kind of just go and get a buy one, get one free from Londis selling chocolate eggs. You know, they're not going to do that. They're going to have the, the best. What are you laughing at? You just, you just, Your choices of words. Just that's choices all. of words. Your choices okay, of words. Right. First up, we're going to talk about Davina McCall and how she chooses to spend Easter. Okay. Now, Davina McCall follows a really, really strict diet and exercise program to keep her body in tip top condition. Okay. So that means no chucky eggs. Well, she mm. should die. None of that. None of that. What she says is, is that it's Easter. She's not doing her skin very good, is it? She's still aging. Well, we're all aging, aren't we? So what she says is she can't have any chocolate in the house because if she does, she knows that she'll go off the, off, off the rails and just eat the whole lot. So yeah. she says the only thing, the only thing that she will have at Easter mm -hmm. is quinoa Easter eggs. Get in the bin. That's sad, isn't it? Not even, they're not even, there's no chocolate in them. So they're basically bowls of quinoa. 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 Um, rolled in, looks like Sadness. hash, um, and dipped in somewhere else. And then in their little, their little rice bowls. They're not even chocolate crispy cakes. What, why is it brown? I don't know what they've made the brown stuff out of. Brown wholemeal rice. What I know about is celebrity, not what they eat, Mike. Well, she, I've said she eats them quinoa egg things. Yeah, I want to know what they made Quinoa. From. Uh, well, do you want to eat some? No. No, well, we're not going to be... We're not spending too much time discussing it. Just okay. that, you know, have, just have a couple of mini eggs, Davina. It's not going to... Yeah, eat go it. on, I'm going to have to eat a cream egg for Davina because it's just sadness. Yeah, as long as she's happy, but I don't think she can no, be happy. No, she won't be that happy. No. Anyway, we'll go over to the Beckhams. Mm -hmm. And um, Victoria Beckham has shared on, on social media her top tip about what to do with those leftover Easter eggs. There's never any leftover Easter eggs. Um, so she has revealed, so that's her family, aren't, aren't they all happy, smiling? Um, oh, it's hateful. Look how attractive they all are. Yeah. Mm. Why, is, why, does it, why is he, like, for the past 10 years, dressed in, like, uh, extra from, from Peaky Blinders? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, so what she has revealed is that her family, they he melt... He to the left. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> um, he... See the tip of his peen... She has revealed that her family, when they Easter is passed and there's Easter eggs, like, don't eat it like that. What? Licking the end of, with your tongue, so just... Oh, God. How else do you eat it? <sighs> they melt their Easter, leftover Easter eggs and turn them into decadent strawberry chocolates. So they make chocolate soup? Yeah. So she posted... A, a, so that's them making them. So she posted on social media a video with Romeo and Cruz, uh, who are in the kitchen, and she's like, what are you doing, boys? And Romeo goes, melting down Easter eggs. Quite evident what they were doing, <laughs> wasn't it, really? Um, so then what they do is um, they dip them into to strawberries and um, do nice things with them. Dip the strawberries into them. Dip them into strawberries. Dip, dip the strawberries the into the them. chocolate, yeah. Oh. yeah. And what she does, she then she tagged Gordon Ramsay, who's best busy mates, and said, what do you think about these? Um, and he replied... That's not yolk dripping out of your <laughs> didn't, He didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> so we need to explain to the people at home oh, what happened can, during just, the break. You no, know, you'll come out. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to, though, Lee. Oh, I'll let them, I'll let them wonder. Um, so he didn't... I don't know if he replied or not. <laughs> There you go. But then, so moving on down to celebrity <laughs> chat. <laughs> moving down the celebrity chat. <laughs> down the celebrity chat. <laughs> okay. Um, the yoke. Um, we've got the likes of Stacey Solomon, who she, she's been posting pictures of her Easter cake. I didn't know whether Easter cake was a thing. Yeah, this is a cake. Mm, yeah, so she's ma managed to master her arga finally. Oh, we're so relieved, <laughs> Stacey. Um, and that's a cake that she made for Easter um, from her arga. Rod Stewart's wife, his current wife, <laughs> we're really Penny Lancaster, the here. she posted pictures of the Easter breakfast that she made for her kids. Okay. Have I mean look at that? That's yeah. One one is presuming that Rod got like a little chopped bag in a cup for his breakfast where for, for when he woke up. <laughs> Liquidized to yeah yeah. Sport. So that's so no kind of yeah. All very fancy. Um, pancakes though. Pancakes, strawberries, an egg dusted. But it's not. With it's <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be powdered sugar. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly powdered sugar. I don't, probably. probably. I mean, more the rock than stars, likely. though, that's probably what they're um, getting the children up on. Um, <laughs> they're probably <laughs> using powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pancake, not the the traditional choice of pancakes for breakfast. They've gone for the, the flat ones for show of Tuesday pancakes rather than the American style oh, ones. Oh, OK, yes, yes. You should, yeah. There's no Nutella in them. It's you just, should have it, checked that one. It's, <laughs> just, it's just as they come with... Well, you don't with, need Nutella, you've got half a... Easter egg there. A chocolate, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't be mad at her. I wouldn't throw at her and say, no, mother, bring me, well, bring me a Ferrero Rocher. Mainly because no. she's not your mother. Well, no, she wouldn't. And she'd say, how did you get in my house? And, Who are you? <laughs> well, yeah. And the police are on their way. And I'd say, well, I still want breakfast. Anyway, finally, a little bit more attainable for us mere mortals. Ruth Langsford, who is married to Eamon Holmes, uh -huh. she uh, posted a, a, a bit, now, not particularly Easter at Ree. So she's got she, rabbit she, ears on. She's got rabbit ears on, but she's uh, it's a meringue. She it said, she, said um, uh, she held it up to the screen and said, uh, Happy Easter, everyone. Do you like my meringues? Um, I think she's trying to play on the, the uh, yeah. feel about them being her bosoms. Yeah. But they're made with eggs. That's Eastery. Egg. Yeah. Fertility symbol. And I've noticed she's got a little Easter tree in the back there. She has. That's very similar to us. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, Maybe we're, she we're buys like the it. celebs, aren't we? Maybe she buys things from the range as well. Uh, I think that must have... Uh, Powerland. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Celebrities, eh? Oh, down with the people. So that's what celebrities get up to at Easter. OK. Yeah. Um, another thing that... Oh, it's a bit sad, but also a bit entertaining. OK. So... Celebrities, if you, you kind of know you've made it in celebrity land, mm. if you get that phone call from Madder Two Swords to say, hello, we'd like to make a model of you, and you're like, oh, I'm that famous. You know you're not kind of on the celebrity slide when you just go and you don't know where you've gone <laughs> and, you know, there's perhaps a new model of somebody else. Could they put you in a suit and you end up being Patrick Moore? Yeah, if you end up being a, like a stamp, like a... Patrick Moore? <laughs> How long that would take? The one that does the stars. Did the stars. Dead now. Be dead a while. Games master. Why would they? Why would they put? <laughs> why would they put people in in suits and say there's Patrick Moore? Let's move on. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, the next best thing <laughs> to having a waxwork done used to be having a, an Easter egg made in your likeness. Okay. So we had this 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 gentleman called John Leslie Lamoran Jr., who was known as the Eggman. Well, he's got the walrus. Walrus. Um, so he was a renowned artist from New Orleans who New sadly Orleans. passed away last year. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Um, he had spent 30 years mm -hmm. creating celebrity egg sculptures. Wow. So he kind of started in the kind of like late 70s when he went on holiday with his children to um, Disney World and his daughter wanted uh, a Disney character and he said, no, it's too expensive, okay. so I'll make you one out of an egg. Like you do. Um, so then after that, he kind of continued. So with this picture, there he is in there. OK. Now, they're not massively current celebrities because obviously, you he's know, been he's, dead. he's been dead a few years. But we've got, uh, we've got Ab Fab. Mm -hmm. We've got Lady Gaga there. Uh -huh. We've got Elvis. Michael Jackson. Um, Elton, Elton John. Um, he did loads and loads of people. And um, so he didn't just use chicken eggs, he used goose eggs because they were bigger. 
Okay, and the size matters. Size matters, yeah. So he would have a, a wooden bag, egg for the bo for the body and then a goose egg for the top. Okay. Um, and then he would create entire sets and stuff. They, th uh, When they originally made them, they went for about $37. Okay. But now, if you can dead. find one on eBay or any of those sites, upwards from £300. Okay. You know, very expensive. Now, obviously, we I couldn't get hold of him because he's not with us. He's gone to the great goose coop in the sky, but... Goose coop. Goose coop. Is that what, do you have chicken coops? Goose coop. No. No? What, what do goose be in then? Goose be in. What? what <laughs> goose be in. What do oh, goose is... got goose be in there. <laughs> what, do right? goose is, what do gooses live in? In ponds and fields and okay. things. Okay. But I've managed to, I've managed uh -huh. to recreate our very own version. See, the words recreate, I always think they're a bit loose. Couldn't find a goose egg, so just went for chicken eggs. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes I say the stuff you make is shonky. Hmm? I'm not going to say that about this. What are you going to say about it, Mike? I'm actually slightly impressed. Are you? Yes. That you had that much time to waste. I think they look quite... You know, there's even a little little set in the background. I know. It's, it's the amount of time that you've wasted that I'm impressed with. I've varnished them as well. I can tell. I blew them. I blew you, Mike. I'm Blue the first you. person. Mm -hmm. They clotted. Did you get did you get the yoke out? Yeah. So if anybody wants to get in touch to have me commission them, me commission me to paint I'm a nearest you. or dearest yeah. on an egg, please get in touch. With someone that will give you some support. Well, that's the end of the Easter showbiz news. Right. Why do I feel like I'm on a really low rent version of QVC? But stick around, because coming up next we have our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. And this week we're going to play our Easter version of the Gobby Game Show. And this one is for our very own Easter bunny, so off your poppity hop. Poppity hop? Hoppity hop. One. Game of the week. So in this very special version of Gobby Game Show, Lee is going to give me some descriptions, I'm going to say the word descriptions, of Easter things. Are you ready, Lee? No, is the answer. No, I'm not ready, Mike. Let oh just... my god, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Never been more aroused. Oh, <laughs> Galilee of Cogs. <laughs> That's not how it goes, is it? Take it out and put it in again. That's there it. You are. <laughs> what happens when you force something in? It goes in at an odd angle. <laughs> put it in fucking sideways. <laughs> Heard that about you. Go on. <laughs> Give me a word. Give okay, the first one. Aha. Uh -huh. Good Friday. Good Friday. Are you describing the word to me or are you just saying them? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I get that. That was Good Friday. Uh, it comes from an egg. Chee, chee, chee. Makes out of the egg. Hello, hello. Chee, chee. And you can put it in an incubator. And sometimes they just heat the heat the no, heat the eggs up, and then they go cut the eye out. Chee 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 chee. Yeah, yeah, so stressed with Easter. Chee. I don't know. Really? Comes out the little egg. Comes out the little egg. Yeah. Chee 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 chee. Are you trying to do the impression of what crocodiles do when they live? No, it's to do with Easter. Okay. Because of the egg. Gee, gee, gee. No idea. An Easter chick. A what? An Easter chick. A what? You know, you know full well what I'm saying. Do Easter I? chick. An Easter chick. It made that. Oh, an Easter chick. Uh, like one of those. One of those things. An Easter chick. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. <sighs> okay, right. Can we round? Can we rack? Can, can we all sorts of different colours? Big long ears. 
Little Tayo brings the Easter eggs. Ha ha dee hop, ha ha dee hop. Along the, the Easter thing, you know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Look, can, like, can sometimes wear clothes, doesn't always wear clothes, but can do. It has a little basket, holds his little eggs. Hop, de hop, de hop, hop so some. Can wear clothes, sometimes doesn't. Can wear clothes. Has a basket. Yes, full of Easter eggs. Then um, eggs. delivers them to the children. Hello, hello, are you an Easter egg? <laughs> um. Hop, de hop, with some fluffy tail. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Easter egg. Hoppity hop with a fluffy tail. Yes, delivers the Easter eggs. Delivers the Easter eggs, and is sometimes naked in front of Can children. Can be if it wants to. Can be naked in front of children. Sometimes if it, wants it has to clothes be. on. Depends what you leave. I'd, you see, I'm just a bit concerned about the, the the Easter bunny might be what you're trying for here. That is right. What's with it? Sometimes can wear clothes when delivering chocolates to children. Sometimes in pictures it has clothes on. And sometimes it's just like an um 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 just like a big rabbit. Okay. But like a what do they call it? Anthropomorphable. Well, I'll say when it's like an animal, but it's like humanized. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> they're saying in the, in the no, they're not. They're, they're saying not anthropomorphic. Saying okay, that one. It's yeah. a slightly different word than anthropomorphic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one is um. Uh, Take it timely. Get out of the world. Yeah, in the field, gangling along. Ding, 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 ding. Kill it. Ugh. Put it in ham. Put it in the oven. Roast it. Ooh, delicious. On Easter Sunday. Oh, Monday. I'm going to try to show you why you want to live on it. And uh, have it in the roast potatoes. Have it in the. <laughs> have it in the. Sound drunk. Have it in the mint sauce. That's nice, with the, with the thing, yeah? So it's not old, it's young. And you, roast, you put it in the oven and you cook it. It's not old, but you spit roast it. Yeah. In the oven, and then you roast the sausages. You have a Dutch oven? Carrots. And mint sauce. Hint sauce. Hint sauce. Hint sauce. Hint sauce. Hint. Hint. Lint. Lint sauce, the chocolate. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. What? <sighs> Not what? a sheep. Not a sheep. Opposite of a sheep. The opposite of a sheep. Smaller. Opposite of a sheep is a ram. Smaller than a sheep. So, so smaller and opposite of so Not a baby grown ram. Not sheep, a lady sheep. Huh? A lady sheep. A well, lady sheep is a, a you. I hate you. Uh, 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 you eat it at Easter. Chocolate? No. Hot food from the oven. Proper food from the oven? <laughs> yes. Beef? Fuck off. It's a... It, Chicken? It's roast lamb. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enabling your, your, um, your ridiculous... I'm eating carrot that, over here. That, ...pretending that you don't know. Right. It's a yellow flower. Goes in the ground, in a comes from a hole, and only comes out in spring, usually around Easter time. Phillips. Not a tulip. There's only one colour of it. It's always yellow. Ah, sometimes cream, sometimes white, <laughs> but no. So always yellow, apart from the times when yeah, it's not yellow. Yeah, variations of yellow. Not. It's not like a tulip that can be red and. Orange and blue, and green. And no, it's always either yellow or cream or sometimes white. And that's very rare. In your garden, at the side of the road. Hello, it's spring. Lambs? Oh, you can. <laughs> I can what? It grows, it's a flower and it grows. A flower that grows? In spring. I love a flower that shrinks in spring. It's yellow. It's yellow. Baby's breath. Oh. Mayflower. Hawthorn. No, I'm just going to wait until you get the right answer. Because 
I've used all my words. You've used all your words? Yeah. Okay. So it's just, just gonna, gonna keep guessing till I get it right then. Okay. Um, hydrangeas. Is that hydrangea? No. Is it a geranium? No. Marigolds? No. Petunias? No. You know what it is. It's that kind of hill time. Hyacinth? No. I don't know. It's a daffodil, you bellend, and you knew it was a daffodil. You're just trying to be funny. No one's impressed. What? You said that they're only ever white and yellow? Shut up. Yeah. But they can be other colours too. Sometimes cream. Uh-huh. Sometimes white. And orange. Mm, yeah. And red. That kind that that kind of and that blue. kind of palette. Anyway, next yeah. one. Uh Let's put it in your mouth that time. Like um A virgin. Touched for the very <laughs> first time. Alright. Get up in on Easter morning. Uh-huh. And Blank over. What go go to head? go to the Hark or go to Healed or ah, if you don't lose near Hark or Healed, you can go to the street. You're going dogging. Um, Easter you're, dogging. You're looking for the eggs to eat. Oh, they might have treats inside there, and you come in a basket. And you come in a basket. Looking for the, and then you find one, you put it in a basket. You go out into a field or a park. Yeah. At a night. Street. Not in the night. In looking the day. for something to, to pick up and put in your basket. Yeah. That is dogging. No, it's not. Rabbiting then, because it's Easter. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm continuing with this fallacy. It's a carrot, it's not a phallus. <laughs> Easter egg hunt. What did you call me? You heard. You can't call me an Easter egg. Let's think of another one. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, Good made, thought. Good made thought. Made out of um, like a dough in a roll. A dough? A dough in a roll. In like a deer. A, a round circle. Is it a female deer? And then you cut currants in it. I don't like currants. Or you can cut currants in it if you want to, traditionally. Thimble cake. No, that's with a nazi hand. And then... It's about I'm you... not carrying what on board. Oh, then happy Easter. Well, um, stick around, because after this, um, it's what one person called a waste of paper plates. It's Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we brace ourselves for the extraordinary, <laughs> shite, Crafty Queens. So as it is Easter, we're going to do one of the um, most oldie worldy traditionally longy timey craft activities from yesteryear that you associate with Easter. Witch burning. No. No, that was Halloween. No, we're going to do... We're going to make an Easter bonnet. Oh, OK. Um, which traditionally... Would have been a bonnet. Would, would have been a bonnet with stuff this on it. a bonnet. Yeah, but then... You, but what would happen is that the ladies would, would have... Like, buy a new bonnet with all fancy stuff on it and then go for a walk and people go, Oh, blimey, love, where did you get that bonnet from? And they go, don't be so rude. But this is not a bonnet. But this is not a bonnet. It only it kind of is no, an Easter bon hat. The bonnet is a round the face thing. Well, you know, just for, for just for <laughs> and giggles, let's call it a bonnet. Oh, <laughs> and giggles till someone giggles. And <laughs> <laughs> it is. Late. So you, I have provided you with a hat of uh -huh. of, of of of. I was going to say straw, but it's not. It's plastic, isn't it? That? I was going to say the highest low quality you can find. Yeah. Um, and, an, and an array of accoutrements. So, so there's no there's no there's no instructions for this. It's just go with whatever you want. Go with what makes me happy. Don't, yeah, not throw it in the bin. No, oh. but you've got to decorate it. Okay. And then what we'll do once they have been decorated, mm -hmm. um, we'll get the gallery to judge which is the best after whoever's been murdered downstairs <laughs> gives their final death throw. 
So yes, at the end we'll get. The, oh, you started already. I've started. You've told me to what I'm doing. Okay, it's well, not right, rocket all right, science. All right. We said I'm decorating a hat. So, do you do you have any interesting facts about Easter? Religious or secular? Oh, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. Yeah. The eating of Easter eggs is actually a fertility symbol. Is it? Yes, because of an egg is, of course, a chicken penis. A chicken penis. A chicken, a chicken penis. A chicken period. A chicken period? Yeah. Uh. That's what they are. Pre-wrapped chicken periods. The egg is the tampon of a chicken period. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't say it was lovely. I said that's what it is. Uh, okay. Um... The gallery's asking why you're not using a hot glue gun. Because I don't like them. I find them very, very, um, very, very <laughs> hot. <laughs> And also a, a, a great danger to the environment and everything. So I'm just using toxic... Right, the amount of plastic you've given me and you're concerned about the environment. <laughs> yeah, but this will last forever. And it will last forever. Yeah, because it's yeah. mostly plastic. Yeah. Um, I have a fact about Easter. Okay. The um, painting of Easter eggs uh -huh. is not a traditionally English thing. German, isn't it? No, it comes from Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Mm, where they used to paint eggs. <laughs> and that's where the, the tradition of painting eggs comes from. Yes. Mm. Okay. I'll share that with you. That that was massively informative. Very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Do, do when you were when you were a small wee child. A small wee child. Did you did you have any Easter Easter traditions? Easter traditions. Uh, well, as I mentioned before, I've got one of them is a vicar, and so it was a very churchy churchy time of year. Oh, okay. As of course, and it's like lots of people going, he's risen and stuff. So yeah, Easter tradition in my family is religious. Did Easter. you not did you not do Easter eggs? We did Easter eggs. We pushed them down the stairs. Down the stairs? Yeah, that's how you broke an Easter egg up, because it's to symbolise the stone being rolled away from the tomb. Yeah, I know that, shite. but I, I didn't know that I when I was a child we used to um go <laughs> to the local village. And... <laughs> Throw rocks at the witchcraft. We would never roll. They used to trade them, trade them for grain for the, for the <laughs> autumn. Um, we um, would roll them. We would go to a park. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. um, and roll them. There was a hill that was specifically for rolling of the Easter eggs. I don't think it was grown that way. but Grown? Um, you know, landscaped in that fashion. Um, and we would roll our Easter eggs down. Okay. And then we would run after them going, Oh, touch my eggs! Um to the poor children um, who had gathered. To steal your chocolate Yeah, eggs. To, to see if they, they would get a wayward rolling Easter egg. Okay. That's lucky. I'm, 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 I'm not mad at mine. I'm not mad at mine either. I don't know if I want to add feathers, but I'm going to. I Ooh. am adding feathers. To be fair, mine is mostly feathers right now. Mostly feathers? If not exclusively feathers. Oh, okay. I'm going more of it for a... Yeah, I'm not go not sure what I'm going for. Oh! Oh. They've got a mind of their own, these pom poms. Pom poms? Pom poms. Pom poms. I'm gonna just lay off the flowers for, uh, feathers for a little bit because it's mostly glue. Did you know? Did I know? That the muffin man. The Easter bunny isn't originated real. from Germany as as kind of did Father Christmas. Uh, and Father Christmas's Coca-Cola's invention. Well, the Saint Nicholas. If you go kind of going. Okay. That 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 kind of. And the legend was, if you were so, Father Christmas was kind of like bringer of nice things. Yeah. But if you weren't a good child, the Easter Rabbit would come and take one of your siblings away. Did you get to pick? No, they, they, yeah. it would just be a random one. Do you know how many Cadbury's cream eggs are sold every Easter in England? Twelve. <laughs> 30,000. Oh. Do you eat them in, in a particular way? You've seen how I eat it. Just, just ram, ram it in? No, I nibble and lick the fondant out, and you get very upset with me when I do that. Yeah, I don't like that. It's offensive. Um, it's not I... offensive. It's... A way of eating chocolate. I oh, see. Now you've made me. You've made me go off kilter, and I've, I've made a mistake. Oh dear. Oh well. I'm. Oh, I'm going 3D with mine. Going 3D. Yeah. It's um. Yeah. 
Um, okay. I, you, when I was a child, I lived next door to another child, oddly enough. Wow. Um, I know. <laughs> Think of it. What a... Uh, um, and this child used to bizarrely, at Easter, eat Come his right, Easter, me. his cabbage cream egg. He used to put it in a egg cup. Uh-huh. Oh, and eat it like an actual egg. And eat it like an actual egg. With like a spoon. Okay. What a freak. Is the Dead child now. still with us or did they get got by the consumption? No, the, the diabetes got them. Oh, see, the, the holes are deceptive. You think, <laughs> I've heard that before. You think it's a hole and it's not. <laughs> well, <laughs> every hole's a goal. That <laughs> scuppered me plans. Now. I've... You do it another way then, Lee. What about, did you do, did you do, um... Easter bonnets when you were a child? Not really. We used to decorate eggs. Oh, did you do it the old fashioned way? What? With paint? No, we <laughs> used to use a, a sawn off a sawn off shotgun to paint. Really? Our eggs. No. Yeah. <laughs> the traditional <laughs> the way. Traditional way. Uh, well, no, I, I I mean I'm saying because you know you could you can either paint them with paints or. If you kind of proper Paint them with human blood, with yes, an excrement. Oh wow! <laughs> now you're and talking. And the entrails of your victims. No, but you could do it with like um, tea. With tea? Yeah, like marbling. Marbling your egg. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm kind. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm surprisingly for me. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling less is more. I shall stop also then. Okay, would you like to place it on your head and we shall reconvene? I'll, I'll let you go. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm go going to... Um... I, th I think it's important to point out that these are for children. <laughs> and that you Not don't for have molder headed head. adults. You say an older headed adult. Molder headed adults. Okay. You've got ears on, remember? I, I'm taking them off. I'm not you. Okay. That's lovely. Beautiful. Well, there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna find out who's won. But remember, you can't get any virgin or even some peen. Then why not be an Easter crafty queen? Shall we shall we go to the gallery and find out who is the winner of this year's Easter egg bonnet Easter bonnet Easter egg bonnet thing yeah whatever yeah me oh well no well, no well, nobody well. said a word no I didn't hear anything <laughs> apparently it's a tie because we both look like well that's almost the end of the show for this week remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV our website is the Cud TV and of course YouTube and podcasts just search for Chewing the Cud thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon. Happy Easter! Bye. Happy Easter too, bye. -bye.